Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. I'm here with Trina Braxton, who's filling in for my sister, Rashawn, today. You may have seen our next guest in action on, in action on Lifetime's Atlanta Plastics, performing everything from facelifts to reconstructive surgeries. However, today, she's here to give us the 411 on surgeries that can be trendy and are trendy, as well on lunch breaks procedures. Wow. Please welcome <laughs> the breast and body doc herself, Dr. Aisha Barron. Yay! Hey, how y'all doing? Oh, hey. Okay, girl, now listen. We got a lot going on in we here. Do. Now, you look so young. Please tell the people, how old are you and why are you pretending? <laughs> well, I, I'm almost 40 years old. Ooh. I am a board-certified plastic surgeon. I have been practicing here in the Atlanta area for about five years and been a plastic surgeon for almost 11. Wow. wow. I got to look the part, right? Of course. Yes, you do. <laughs> what are your most... Uh, asked for procedures and why? Right. The most popular procedures are breast augmentation, mm -hmm. mommy makeovers, mm -hmm. um, just because, you know, uh, a lot of people want to improve their contour. A lot of moms want to kind of get back their pre-baby physique yes. after having children. And so um, there are plenty other um, procedures such as breast reductions, tummy tucks, lipo, you know, that are really popular right now. Mm -hmm. But those are the ones that are at the top of most people's lists. Okay. Wow. Well, let's go through some of these procedures. Okay. Because clearly I know they're not yes, doing so, this on lunch right. break. <laughs> so these are breast implants. So okay. breast augmentation is increasing the size of the breast by mm -hmm. using a breast implant. Okay. And um, we have a saline implant that's filled with salt water, okay. basically. And then there's also silicone implants, which are the rest of these, that are filled with a silicone gel. So you may have heard something called the gummy bear. Mm -hmm. And so the gummy bear implants, um, you know, have a more cohesive silicone gel. Um, so it doesn't run out like it did in the past. So you don't which have to one worry about better? them leaking. Um, I prefer silicone just because it looks more natural. It feels more na like a natural breast. Mm -hmm. And so um, most patients will veer a little bit towards silicone, but, you know, it's the patient pre preference right. and having a good consultation to where uh, they can make an informed decision mm -hmm. can definitely help. The price range for this is about 4500 to 6000 depending on the type of implant that okay. a patient chooses. Mm -hmm. The recovery time is about a week, mm -hmm. um, and patients can be in a bikini enjoying their new uh, girls, so to speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> after about two months. Well, what about reduction? Mm -hmm. Reduction, that's decreasing the size of the breast. And a lot of times patients will have back pain and neck mm -hmm. pain. And this procedure is sometimes covered by your insurance company. Mm -hmm. And so um, if you can get it approved, then it can really help the stress and the strain from having large breasts. And that's mm -hmm. just reducing the size. But if a patient has to pay out of pocket, then it's about $7,000 to $9,000. Why is it so much more than the implants? Um, it's just because of the, uh, the amount of time it takes in the operating room um, and then the nature of the procedure. It's mm -hmm. a little bit more of extensive work. Nice. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about breast revision. Yes, so revision. So if a patient has already had breast um, implants or if they've had breast reconstruction mm -hmm. for any procedure, then uh, we can do a revision. A lot of times I switch out patients who have um, silicone and mm -hmm. or saline and then switch them to silicone implants because mm -hmm. they want a more natural appearance or they've had them for a particular length of time. A lot of times they're kind of, we kind of say you have to balance and rotate the tires mm -hmm. every 10 to 15 <laughs> years. And I've heard that. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I, I, I've had an augmentation done. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's been about 12 years now. Mm. And my doctor said to me, that was like they, he told me that if they don't bother you, then you shouldn't bother them. True. Now, is there truth to that theory is, for revision? Yes, that is very much so true. However, you still need to make sure that you get them examined every so mm -hmm. often. The recommendation for silicone implants is either to have an MRI, ultrasound, or breast exam right. every three Three, two to three years potentially mm -hmm. to make sure you don't have a silent leak or rupture. Mm -hmm. So if, even if you don't get them tra traded out, then it's a good idea to at least have them checked. Nice. Let's mm -hmm. talk about lunch break procedures. Right. So there are plenty of procedures that you can come by the office and get uh, done during your lunch break. Okay. There's Botox, which normally is about $12 a unit. I know Selena um, and Rashawn gets that on their yeah, forehead. Yeah, right? yes. Okay. And so that will help with fine lines and wrinkles. A lot of times, you know, people don't want us to be the angry black woman appearing. <laughs> So it kind of helps to relax your um, okay. your frown lines. I got it right before I got married because okay. I didn't want to be squinting in the sun as right. I walked down the aisle. Right. Um, but uh, that will help to smooth out fine lines and wrinkles. We have fillers that will help to um, fill in those nasal labial folds That's here. That's what I want. I want to get rid of yeah. I call them laugh lines. Are they yes, the same? Yes, laugh lines. Okay. Same okay. thing. So Juvederm, Restylane will really help to fill in those, um, those areas. And then you can also um, get things like Kybella, which mm -hmm. will help to get rid of some of the fat in yes. the under chin area. Oh. 
And um, and then we also have a device called the Vivachi, okay. which is a microneedling nice. uh, device okay. that pairs radio frequency to help to um, stimulate your body to improve um, collagen formation, elastin formation. It will help with evening out the skin tone, um, taking care of dark spots, acne scars, mm. and you can actually get some stretch mark reduction. Which Show is us how it is. You know, we talked off air about mm -hmm. I got my under eyes, the bags under my eyes removed uh -huh. by Dr. Wright Jones on the show yes, Atlanta Plastics. Yes, yes, yes. So well, you told me this may even help kind of keep that procedure exactly. intact. Exactly. So it's a good maintenance procedure. Okay. So, you know, we basically can, um, you know, uh, it has micro needle heads and so there's micro needles that are the tip of this device and so um, you we numb the face so mm -hmm. it doesn't hurt at all okay um, you can get it done it's about 45 minutes um, procedure that you can get done over uh, lunch and then it's spaced about a month apart for okay. three to four treatments okay. and so it's very very easy but it will help to um, really even out that skin tone and really keep you looking young you know what we really appreciate <laughs> you and you guess what I'm coming to your office we appreciate you dr. Barron Thank thanks you. so much for Ed. <laughs> For more information, you can always go to her website. It's a breastbodybeauty.com.